Hey guys, Techie here from Techie Farm Boy, and today we're going to be playing s <laughs> Snake Oil. <laughs> Snake, Snake oil. oil. So, as you can see, we have a few new people here. Uh, I have a new name. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he is. No I keep pointing over there because I'm used to. It's right here. The camera's right here. Yeah. So introduce yourselves. Hi. <laughs> I'm Aiden. I go by Sesma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the leader of the friend group. Yeah. My name is Leo. I go by Milo. Uh, my name is Austin07, previously known as Zyme. Uh, he, he goes, goes by, by Austin. They're so, he yeah, goes by Austin. They're so disappointed in my new name. I don't, I don't care. And my name is Techie. Um, I go by Techie and, um. Birth certificate. We need to leak his name. We need to leak his name. <laughs> leak his name! Leak his name! <laughs> Alright. My name so, is Nate. One of us actually says it, and then you just leap it. <laughs> yeah, we've done that before, I think. Um, so who wants to be... Okay, so I should probably actually explain the premise of Snake Oil. So the premise of Snake Oil is... So there's a customer, <laughs> and then we each have a bunch of cards. And you have to make a product based on the customer with two of your cards. So Sam trying to sell something to a caveman, and I choose, like, uh, traffic cheese. I'd have to explain why that product appeals to a caveman. So, uh, why don't we start the game? So, who wants to be the first customer? Probably the first. All right. And there's two customers on every card. <sighs> okay. All right. So we either have ex, ex executioner, executioner or protester. Protester. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Shark Tank. Welcome to Shark Tank. This is just comic right, Shark Tank. Tank. You want to go first? Yeah. Okay. Fry. So you're a protester, correct? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But well, let's say, uh, you know, you want you want people to join your cause, correct? You're the people you're protesting. Well, here's here's my preposition. Doubt towel. Now, <laughs> what I'm going to do with this is you're going to take this towel... And while you're protesting, may it be violent or peaceful, you put it on the person that is like saying, I don't agree with you. You put it on them, they start to doubt their position. They start to doubt what they're believing so they could possibly join your side. Alright, so my product for you. So you're a protester. You obviously need to get your point across. What's the best way to get your point across? Violence. So here we have a lightning bottle. So you throw it. Okay, it's a glass bottle. You throw it at people. Boom! The, the, the like, thunder comes down, force a god on them, and then they're going to be dead. People are going to be like, oh crap, they're killing people. We need to get them to stop killing people. Let's believe in their ideas. So they stop hating us. I have a, I have a objection. What? To this. So if you kill all the people that you're going up against, how do you legislate on them? Like, you're supposed to put in what you believe, and that goes for everybody. If you wipe out the non-believers, guess what's left? Believers! <laughs> and you can't make any new ones. The reverse. Couples right? can get together and make a baby. That's the new believer. <laughs> so, okay. okay so, you're a protester. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> say <you're> peace <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you're peacefully protesting. So you need to go break buildings, okay? <laughs> for peaceful protest. What is this? Fortnite? <laughs> so what you need to do is you need to use gum energy. <laughs> gum energy. <laughs> It's five hour energy, but it's gum! <laughs> you chew it, okay? You chew it, What's and it empowers you to go around and destroy people to make them believe so in it's your the, cause. So, essentially, it's just the physical equivalent of a Reddit post on r slash anti-work. Here's my yes. question for you. It's only one piece of gum, so when you're done with that protest, it's over? No, you give another person it. <laughs> what did... What? what? Did it stop? Oh, okay, okay, come here, open your mouth! <laughs> Open it. <laughs> um, I think bottle lightning Boom. is the best. Okay, so I won the I won the round because I am the best. So I get to keep this card, and at the end of the game, so whenever okay. all the customer cards have been depleted, what are we you put, put in the discard pile. Uh, uh, whoever at the end of the game has the most customer cards is been declared the winner. So how do we want to go about this? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Let's go around. Okay. All right, so I'm next. Hey there, I'm an attorney from Bob Loss Legal Firm. Have you found yourself in a bit of legal trouble? Went to a party last night, got a bit too buzzed, hit three people on the highway on the way home. Did you maybe whip out your gun and shoot someone? 
out of a fit of rage during an argument. Well, but, but our lawyers at Bob Loss Legal Firm can help you with that. We are cheap, affordable, and some of the best in the business. Call this number or go to our website to hook yourself up with one of our top lawyers. I am a kindergartner. <laughs> oh God. Sell me something. Please sell me something. Give me the same cup of bring me. Sicko mode or Mobamba? <laughs> 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 What's the most relevant? <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> Who are very unfunny? Why are you laughing? What's the relevant music debate right now? It's which order is it in? All right, okay. I got one. All right, pitch me your product. All right, so you're a kindergartner. You like yes. having schedules. Okay. Right? Okay. 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 You like having schedules. <laughs> <laughs> so I present to you. Garbage time! <laughs> That's a YouTube channel that I watch. <laughs> Garbage time dot YT. <laughs> Alright, so, what, what this, it, it's a time where you can team up with your fellow kid, kindergartners and see who can eat the most garbage in the least amount of time. <laughs> Because that's something they else swap all, with <laughs> all kindergartners love. Well, they love garbage. They it's absolutely. Just, no, you don't even need even a dump truck anymore. You don't have the kids. <laughs> okay, so now, let's say you want to watch a movie. Are you facing towards the end? You're saying it to me. Immediate bad impression. Product disqualified. Next. Okay, <laughs> let's say you want to watch a movie, but no one else wants you to watch a movie. Wants me to watch a movie or wants to watch a movie with me? Both. You <laughs> <laughs> eat the movie banana. I hate banana. <laughs> eat the movie banana, okay? And it makes them want to watch movies with you. And it makes me want to watch a movie, maybe? Yeah. Oh, my. So let's say, you know, you're a kindergarten, but you want to, like, get a good impression on everybody. And kids like toys. They like, they even like, um, you know, there's a lot of, like, you know, even like Valentine's cards, right? They like that. So just have the bracelet basket. Bracelet you're going to give them bracelets, and it'll get their opinion of you to go up. Oh, absolutely. Should we simple, have drawn this simple first? solution. Huh? Should we have drawn again? Yeah. So two? Uh, yeah, after you use your cards, you drop two more. Yes. I didn't simple, drop them the first round, so... Simple solution. They're all going to like you. Bracelet basket. So, uh, I'm turned off by the idea of garbage. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to eat garbage. That's not my... <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> Get out. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna like. We're just gonna put like that. Da 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 Somebody got to frisky. <laughs> Somebody got a bit too edgy for our channel. So I don't like garbage. Hate rotten apple cores. Um, I hate bananas. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this one to the bracelet basket. Oh, come on! This is a Ryan Toys Review review. I am not Ryan Toys Review. Please, don't... <laughs> Where's my entire set of cards? <laughs> you didn't draw for the last round, the round before No, that. my entire set of cards. What do you mean? I only have two cards! Put <laughs> <laughs> your cards in here! <laughs> so, okay. like, three... So you should have one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven. Six. Alright. <laughs> so is it my turn? Yeah, yeah sorry. Go so draw from the bottom. No, just jump from the top. Okay, like a normal person. It's like he's falling just fan. for a muncher. I'm a sports fan. So, um, what do you want to do? Is it, you know, you want to, you, you know, you're watching a sports game. Let's say, right. let's say it's kind of coming a blowout, right? Uh -huh. So it gets unfun to watch. Um, <clears throat> so you want you get your friends to do something else during the game. Pizza club. You're gonna go to the pizza club. And you're gonna get a bunch of pizza so that you can talk about the game, about the seasons and all this stuff, and you're still entertained and enjoy pizza. Even though they're pizza. You know, the game's might be crappy, but pizza is delicious. That's okay. So, mm, so, you're going to these big shot sports games, you know? Yeah. College football. Yeah. Obviously, there's going to be just Loads of traffic on the way there. So I present to you the traffic bridge. It is a product. You put it on the front of your car, it deploys a bridge, drive right over that traffic straight to the stadium. <laughs> Skip all of that hassle. You don't get ticked off because of all the traffic. 
boom, you're just there in the stadium. Yeah. Well, how does the bridge know how to get to where you're going? GPS coordinates. Okay. Uh, like I said, does, 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 does it pull? Does it does it does it dissipate away after you're going? Yes, of course. It's imagine a billion people use this thing. You're still with your bridges. <laughs> so yeah, you, you put in the GPS coordinates because it's a, it's an attachment on your car. So you put in the GPS coordinates. If you turn left, does it just go? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I don't imagine you would turn left on a bridge. That kind of sounds dumb. You what, you to, what if you're on the bridge and there's different cars you have to turn lanes? What? Yeah, the bridge is just not a linear object. Yeah, it's a, is it a single lane or? It's single lane. lane. Okay. Because it's an attachment on the car. Just, it would only be as wide as so, your car. So then, can you turn left in a single lane on a bridge that moves? <laughs> I mean, you can't. You're I don't know if it hides it. <laughs> you are making a target. I'm not making. Okay. I'm essentially yes. I actually am. Okay, so, so you want to know when your favorite sports people are trying their hardest, right? Right. And you want to make sure that they are trying their hardest. Well, I present to you the sweat radar. <laughs> <laughs> so what it does is it's a it's a little it's a little gizmo with like a screen on it and like an antenna, right. um, and it has a radar on it, and um, it has like little names above blips that tell you which people are which on your favorite sports mm-hmm. team, and whenever there are blips there, it means that they are sweating, which means that they are working what? hard. Uh, what if it's just a really hot day for that guy? And I also, I also have another question. And it's a human hot day. Do, isn't, doesn't the news channel, like the sports channel, also show what the names of the players are and if they're good or not? Well, I think this application, I imagine, would be for at games. Yes. When you're not, when you don't have all those pop-ups and stuff. Okay. Um, what if it's just a hot day? Like, some people can... That's a question for him. What if it's a hot day? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's just a hot day? It doesn't mean they're working hard. Well... The sweat. <laughs> the sweat is a different type of sweat. Okay. For if it's hot, where did this scientific engineering come from? I supported your product. Now, like, what's the science behind it? So, <laughs> what studies did you do? Yours with? is good, but pizza places exist all over the world already. But oh, the yeah. problem is, is that you can access it while you're at the stadium. So is it like a teleporter? You're essentially selling me a teleporter. Okay, so it's like a safe space, and you just yeah. Okay, it's just right for, for you. Okay. Yours is good, but I don't know if I'd want to turn left on a single lane. <laughs> <laughs> no, why would you? Why would you turn left on a single lane? Well, here's bridge? the thing. What you, if you have you to merge, merge off the yeah. bridge? You tell the people that has. No, GPS why would you need to merge off no, a listen, single listen, lane down the bridge? No, listen, listen. No, look, no, it's, it's not like. No, it's not just sharp <laughs> cut off. It is a bridge. Look, here's you, here's the force saying. Okay. <laughs> now, Boom. I have a question. Simple. If you're using a GPS, okay, you said it has a GPS, right? Yes. And you go off route. The GPS reroutes you, right? You can't. That is true. That is instantaneously. So, it really takes five seconds for it to reroute. No, I said instantaneously. That's not five seconds. Well, when you originally proposed this, you didn't tell me that. You didn't ask about it, so I didn't think you were all asking about it. You're trying to sell me, and I said it doesn't do it. You're trying to sell me a broken keyboard to H brand. Okay. All right. Make your decision. Now, yours is the sweat radar. Now, that's pretty good, like, if you're right there. But, overall... Have to say that. Oh, come on, Pizza Club. It's just a reshelled teleporter, man. I mean, it works. <laughs> it works, but it does have a single use, though. It's not that good. All right, now you can guys can convince the fat. The fat boy. <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> All right. <laughs> <It's> nasty. <laughs> I'll be a taxi driver out of that. Awesome. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, I've already got in mine. I've already got mine too. All right, can I go ahead and present? Sure. All right, so you're a taxi driver, okay? You live in upstate New York. <laughs> in <laughs> upstate New York. In <laughs> this. You have a. You have three children, all of which are within the one to three age range, and you have a beautiful wife. So you're pretty angry most of the time. <laughs> I hate my wife. Because you live in upstate New York. Your wife is getting a lot of beautiful children. You hate them. 
Okay, go on. So you live in a, a you live in upstate New York, yes, and you're a taxi driver. Yes. So naturally, you're always <laughs> angry. So I present to you the bomb hangover. Oh my god! <laughs> Swing this hammer at whoever's angering you, and it and it flings a bomb at them. It doesn't hurt them. It doesn't do anything except mildly, except mildly. You throw a bomb at them. It doesn't hurt them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's so, like one of those popper bombs. All right. So I have a proposal. So you've been sitting in a car all day, all night. You finally come home to the five minutes of relaxation you have before you have to go to work again, okay? <laughs> now, you're stiff from sitting in that position. You don't move. You just sit in there and wait for people to get in and out. So I present to you the muscle. Hello. Have you or a loved one ordered air along with a box of bag of chips in the past two years? Well, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Box of bag of chips have been found to be contaminated with high levels of asbestos, which can cause asbestosis, mesothelioma, and lung cancer. Other symptoms may increase your risk for cancers of the digestive system, including but not limited to colon cancer and many other types of cancers in your digestive system. So don't wait, don't delay, or we'll rip your asbestos out of your head um side effects of this may include death that was awful sure. <laughs> alright so I think I'm gonna okay. with you you had the worst explanation on earth and um but it's, from, it's offensive I agree oh uh, this is a twitter moment <laughs> my white privilege to cheese alright we've got a gucci pit. Uh, <laughs> 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 we're eight. Yeah, we are. Oh, Alright, so either a couch potato or a hitchhiker. I'm gonna go with hitchhiker. Also, when when we're talking like out of video, you should just play Jeopardy waiting music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, as a hitchhiker, you're gonna need like a very, you're gonna need a car. You wanna get places. So, I present to you the sky cannon. It shoots a help message into the sky. So people will be like, hey, this man needs help. Skirt! <laughs> <laughs> hey, sir, I saw you need to help. Yes, I'm a hitchhiker. Great, get in my car. Wait, but if you have a sky cannon, why can't you just propel yourself to where you want to go? You can do that too. Double feature. Maybe you're too wounded. To go, because you've been in and out of cars all day, your legs hurt. So you don't want to be blasted out of a can, because your legs hurt more. Alright, I have a proposition. What? So you're the hitchhiker, right? And uh, let's say, you know, you're going up a mountain, and you know there's a valley there, there's a river. Right? Well, let's say you're in a really bad situation. So you say you take one wrong step, and you start going down the mountain towards the river. Well, here's something to save you. Usually, you know, a hitchhiker can bring a lot of instruments, including a shovel, just in case they need it. And so, you can use the shovel raft. You make a raft out of the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> the shovel deploys it into a raft, and then you can float along the river safely. There you go. Simple, straight. Okay, so, you're a hitchhiker, right? You're trying to go somewhere. You know where you want to go, okay? Now, let's say, since you're hitchhiking, you can't go there very fast. So, what you need... You need to lose weight. You need art meat. Okay? <laughs> what art meat does is revolutionary. You draw a picture of where you want to go, okay? Um, then you put a blood sacrifice on <laughs> it. And it opens so the it down, down, man. It's meat art. Art meat. You, you, draw, you draw a picture of where you want to go. It's a horsey! It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter how bad the picture is. You just draw a picture of where you want to go, and you make a blood sacrifice on it. Wait, okay. And so then it doesn't matter, matter how bad the picture is. It's paganism. Here we are. Okay. I'm, I'm being ignorant. Think, think about it. It brings where you want to go instantly. No side effects. Okay. So, 
No side effects. What? I have a wrap. Me a blood sacrifice <laughs> to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blood sacrifice to the device. You can't treat it as a paganism. <laughs> no, no, the device is fueled on me. Let's pull on this art out. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. <laughs> so you said no matter how bad the picture is. Right. Okay, so what if actually no, what if the picture looks very similar to another place? Like what if you want to go to New York and you go to Right, the well, Lauren does it knows what you're thinking. So it plugs into so your So just mind. think about it. Well, that that's another function. You're from right, Silicon another, Valley. I thought you could think better. <laughs> no, that's another. It, it's art. Remember, so you can think of where you want to go in your mind, and that's art. So then you just put bl- meat or blood into the device, and it opens the doorway. Okay, so where's the what device? Kind of League of Legends have you been playing? I, I can give it to you if you accept my product. So you're literally we're trying to bribe. Give me a Dominus. <laughs> He's literally like. I'll, I'll let you enjoy your product if you buy it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Then. Alright. You're gonna have to eat them all. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alright. The door's bending. <laughs> the door's bending! <laughs> That's a reference. Alright, All right, so. Your idea. Paganism. <laughs> your idea. It could have had a better use other than sending a distress signal. Which is. You can also save yourself. yourself. Okay, your idea. Is not scientifically accurate. God dang it. <laughs> Sky cannon. Meat <laughs> or art meat. <laughs> we have a circus act, religion, and then just non scientifically based. Okay. I'm a rapper. No, I'm a hostage. <laughs> well, the similarities. Uh, or not a. <laughs> or no. Here I have for you the orange banana. Um, so you're a hostage? <laughs> oh, I know. You're a hot hostage. Yeah. I can make all the the Okay. Oh, no. So you're a hostage, oh, okay? No. Now let's say you're trapped in a building. A so you're a hostage. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You use the faith. Instead of making me help you, you're just, just trying <laughs> to sell you my You problem. use the faith light, okay? It's a lighter, okay? Oh. Now let's say. <laughs> Ascend. It doesn't. It's, it's, it's based on how much you want to escape. So, <laughs> why the lie? I don't want to escape at all. It, it burns anything as long as you Pretty want to escape. Comfy. So, you light the wall on fire and it burns a hole in it. Just enough for you to fit through. Because it's based on how much you want to get out. It's a faith light. Alright, so you're a hostage, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you want to be able to escape from your captors. Your captors will spare babies. Um, so, you need to put on baby glasses. Um, and what these do is they make you look like a baby. Um, so they will then um, throw you out of their hostage situation and go find someone else to take hostage. That's the equivalent of putting on a fake mustache mm-hmm. and an aviator <laughs> and calling yourself an FBI agent. Alright. I didn't get a good one either. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you're a hostage and all this stuff, and yeah, you're kind of dying, but... Uh, <laughs> I have a hole in my chest. Yeah, let's say you, know, you wanted to guilt trip the... Guard. I love gaslighting. So use a <laughs> truth ticket. Now look, you're gonna have to. Add, you're gonna give this ticket to him, which you're gonna say. You're gonna ask him a simple question, and it's gonna be a truth or dare question. <laughs> <laughs> and depending on truth or dare, dare, let me out. <laughs> if he does not answer the question how you want him to, if you can, you can detect if he's lying or not. If he's lying. Blow him up and you blow the thing open. Where are you from? from? <laughs> it's inside the chicken. Well, so they were right, big man. I'm so strapped to this chair, but you're in pieces. <laughs> no, you're, you're in the prison. You just can't get through the bars. And then it opens the bar. Okay, I'll become skinny. Now, what if the prison you doesn't have bars? What do you mean? What if it's just a giant, solid steel door? Yeah. You can bust the door open. 
It's an empty shot! <laughs> if, it's it's a, if it's exclusive to the door, why does it blow up you? Why doesn't it blow up us? Because it puts a thing around us. Oh. <laughs> oh, why are you taking out the ticket? <laughs> Take this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's an interesting principle. Okay. First of all, not interesting enough. Uh, so, yours is weird. I don't like it. Yours is weird. I don't like it. Yours is weird. I don't like it. I'd rather stay strapped to this chair than buy any of your products. But I like this one the best because it has to deal with explosions. I win! Yay! And that was snake. I'm not going to. And that was snake oil. Everybody dies. We oh. remember to like and subscribe. Uh, comment. Um, Join the official Discord. We have that. Don't give me back my hat. We have an official Discord now. Link. We the actually do. We have an actual Discord. Right. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. Please remain calm. We have an official Discord server. Uh, so the link is in the description. And I'll post it in the comments. Um, you will not. I, I will. will. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, uh, subscribe to these two. I also have our own Discord server. But it's private. <laughs> I'll stay I'll out. Know. Please. We have it. It's the over-encompassing of everybody here. But you're not cool enough! <laughs> yeah, get out! I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. You serve zebo purpose. Oh no, who's <laughs> got control of the- Bye!